excuse me. How familiar are you with Miranda Wright? Mm -hmm. Miranda Wright. Mm -hmm. Miranda Wright. Miranda Wright. Yes. That is if police arrest somebody and charge that person, the police need to read his right to him. That is Miranda Wright. That is you are charged for this this that is law to have your right to attorney if you can't afford it the state will appoint an attorney for you and so on and so forth that is Miranda right but uh, do you if the police fail to read Miranda right to that person that was arrested that's the technicality under which he or she can be free there's a technicality there, but should they be reading Miranda rights to everyone they are arresting? I think, let's say, this is the person I arrest. I'm a policeman. I arrest him. Mark him up. I didn't read his Miranda right to him in charging, and I didn't read Miranda right to him. When he gets to the court, if he asks him if he has a lawyer, say, you know, she doesn't have a lawyer, and they ask, he, his Miranda right was great to him. He said, no, he will ask the policeman. If you ever read his Miranda right to him, if he find out the policeman didn't read the Miranda right to him, they will free him. Yes, that's usually the case. But do you believe that everyone who's being put in handcuffs should be read his Miranda right? Yes. If they are going to lock him up? Yes. Yes. I have a petition going on. Uh, would you be able to sign it? Hmm? I'm saying that everybody should be read the Miranda rights. Yes. Would you sign my petition? They should read the Miranda right to whoever yes. they arrest and they are going to lock him up. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that if anyone is put in handcuffs, they should automatically be read their Miranda rights. Uh, yes, if they put handcuffs on him. Yes. And they say they charge him. No, no, no. It doesn't matter whether he's being charged or not. I'm saying that anyone who's being put in handcuffs should be automatically read as Miranda that rights. That is if they're going to lock him up. Well, he, he's, yes, he's automatic. Because some, some people, they handcuff him. Maybe he was misbehaving, trying to start up a fight. Just to calm him down, they might put a handcuff on him. And later on, they find out. He hadn't committed anything, the police man can free him without reading any right, without charging him for anything. But do you believe that police are deleting evidence? Hmm? Do you believe that police are deleting evidence? If police did what? Do you, what do you think of Freddie Gray, for example? Hmm? Freddie Gray. Freddie Gray? Yes. Hmm, the police was all the killer. Because... But do you believe that's like... What if in the police truck, they did not bear him down. Yeah. So he was holding around to the point that he hit his head and the spine collapsed. So when they, and then the point where they, when they threw him in, uh, 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 there was a, a mark on the face of his shoulder that mark fits the foot. Big fault in the in the truck. That yeah. is, it means it just threw Yeah, I, I, I read the report, mm -hmm. um, but uh, do you believe that uh, uh, that uh, the police who are arresting foreigners should automatically read them their Miranda rights? I don't know who they did if they read his Miranda rights. To him or not. Well, uh, with regards know. to Freddie Gray, like uh, what we know is that he was killed, and that the circumstances under which he was killed were suspicious. So, like um, an investigation was launched, and now he's earning. I think his family is about to earn some money, according to the newspapers. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? The money. Do you think he should be able to earn? Like, if he, if someone is wrongfully arrested, and Miranda rights are not read to them, do you believe financial compensation should be forthcoming? Just oh, like. Yes. It, it, it is. If but that's not always the case, though. Not always the case. Yes, foreigners if, are arrested. If the, if the offense is great and he might carry 
But what do you think? Charges. What, for example, though, we now have reports, like, for example, the Department of Justice has issued a report on Ferguson. Several minorities were brought up on trumped-up charges, yet those minorities are not being financially compensated. Mm -hmm. And so yet uh, it seems now that we have to reach a certain point and there needs to be like a certain reaction from society for people to be earning financial compensation as a result of police violence. And so like, uh, do you believe that uh, financial compensation should happen to people who have been wrongfully arrested? Oh yeah, we do find out if it is concluded beyond reasonable doubt that he was falsely accused, arrested, he can come out and sue the police. That's not, that's not true. What we know now is that people are brought up on trumped up charges and they are having to defend themselves in court so like trying to prove their innocence and so like it's no longer like uh, uh, the contrary which is happening in the sense that uh, if somebody well, is wrongfully arrested well, and then he do the investigation well, the investigation, the are you saying are you saying that uh, investigations are not uh, sometimes what they seem to be. What do you think, for example, of uh, uh, human rights commissions in this country? Human rights commission? Yes. Um, the uh, agencies which are supposed to investigate practices of police abuse. Oh, yeah. Police abuse is very, very uh, rampant. Yes, have you noticed that? Really they are, uh, what do you think, though, of... Uh, we seem to be living in a time when the police are no longer uh, Asking, uh, are asking pedestrians for their ID, even mm -hmm. though they are no longer operating a vehicle. Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? They don't ask anymore. They well, just I have seen this. Them. Well, yeah. yes, they are arresting them without asking their asking ID. Asking for their ID. Yes, they are arresting, and I've seen this now on a couple of occasions. Some that of it's called for. That's illegal. Well, I have seen this. I've seen this like uh, on a couple of occasions now. Police officers and. I wish I documented this, but I, s I witnessed this just the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, came up to someone and who was Especially a pedestrian. If they look at, they look at him, do you think yes? See, he's a foreign. Yeah. They will try to. Yes, that, that's why. Like, um, mm -hmm. peop do you believe or that if every or interaction? He is yes. a car driver or a foreign-looking person. They might do that, but that's wrong. But do you encourage people uh, who have interaction with the police? To be recording their uh, conversations with the police. They, they need to be able to report to the human rights commission. I beg your pardon? They need to be able to report to either the human rights commission or report to um, what do they call that? Oh God. ACLU. Ah, the ACLU. Yes. What do you think of the ACLU? American Civil Liberties Union. But what do you think of the ACLU? But uh, do you know people inside the ACLU? No, I don't know about that. What do you think of uh, you Monica them, Hopkins? You can find them on the, on the website. Well, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, like, who several of them are. What do you think of, um, uh, um, uh, Debbie Reed? Hmm? Debbie Reed. Debbie. Debbie Reed. You don't know who that is? What? Can you repeat that? You, who, who is Debbie Reed? I can't understand that. Never mind. Uh, what do you think of mass surveillance? Mass surveillance? Yes, mass surveillance. Mass arrest? surveillance oh surveillance yes for example if you if you turn around you will see there's a camera over there yeah and, there's and there's another camera over yes, there that's good because it will uh, document everything in case if there is some uh, somebody who was caused trouble or anything but no 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 no, no. Uh, because uh, it will show what is going on. If somebody is trying to do some breaking, something like that, this is very good. 
I'm talking about cameras and mass yeah. surveillance. Yeah. I'm talking about like this practice of like uh, Human Rights Watch has published a report saying that uh, internet research, for example, I used to be on a computer, that internet research is monitored and cell phone conversations are being tapped upon. What do you think of that, Tom? Where? Because of the surveillance? The surveillance camera everywhere? Do you believe that internet research is being monitored upon? If the, if the uh, surveillance is everywhere to capture activities or illegal activities, I think it's okay. Because everywhere now, especially all the big cities all over the world, but do you not believe that's an invasion of privacy? No, I don't. You see, like, do you not think it's, not, it's, it's been associated, though, it's with not, what uh, I was just uh, watching? It, it is not. You know, of you know what? The I was just watching a documentary, and mm. if I may just say this, uh, as someone, uh, you know, they were being asked, like, what do you think of, like, the same question I asked you. Mm. They were saying, if you have nothing to hide, like, you, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Exactly. exactly. They, ha they if said you that. Have nothing to hide, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, do you know? Do you know? Look, do you know who that's been associated with, though? Do you know? Who, do you know who said that, though? Do you know who's no. the first person who said that? He was uh, apparently the Nazi uh, minister for uh, propaganda. The Nazi minister for propaganda is the first person who uh, basically said, like, if you have like uh, nothing to to hide then you shouldn't be Don't worried. Worry and so, like, do you believe, like, uh, we are no longer, we are, it's clearly, we're descending into an apartheid, but do you also believe we're descending into a Nazi state? Yeah. Uh, you see, for instance, the police has something they call, uh, you see, like, here in D.C., if you don't, if you watch and support, you don't pay your sign that support. You can suspend your license. When they suspend your license, they will put it on the system and it's nationwide. If you, because of that, you run away from there, you will go to no government. It's waiting for you there. If you be no government and you go to Alaska, it's waiting for you there. <laughs> that is what it Central database. Yes. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Yeah. But what do you think, though, of uh, mass surveillance? Do you yes. think uh, it's ongoing? Mass surveillance usually happens in uh, like in downtown areas of all the big cities in the world, so that the people to pay point, especially those. Who are going to be struggling? Who can shoot people to get away? When I was working, when I used to work for police department, we have what we call short spotter. That is, if you shoot a fire gun here, that thing will record it and pinpoint the area where the gun was fired. So the police there we go there and go for the shell, shell cases. Do you used to work for the police department? Which police department? Yes. Really? Uh huh. What do you do? I was working on projects. I work on projects. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. Worked there for seventeen years. Did you? We were laid off in the IT department. Oh really? Mm -hmm. They laid us off about four and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do now? Oh, uh, I have a one small uh, part-time job that I do now. Okay. So, that is um, a so short spot. What's your level of education? I have master's degree in finance. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. That's why I was working on budget. Okay. Yeah. So. Where'd you get the master's? Uh, UDC. Okay. Yeah. So, all this, there are some areas in DC 
if you see something like this, you see the police department logo on electric pole, that's crime recording system. If somebody shoot anybody in that area, that crime thing will capture it. And then the IT people go there, retrieve the tape and bring it to the headquarters but and they check it and then what do you think now though of like people who have basically said that uh, uh, okay see moment two more minutes okay and what do you think now of people who have basically said that the police is becoming militarized mm -hmm. yes they are right because the militarization of police is not good. But do you think that uh, the police is becoming militarized? In the yes, sense that it is. It is. It is, it is right? Is. Because so those, what have you seen? Those, what have you seen in the DC Metropolitan Police Store? Those equipment were left over from the military. They don't want to destroy them. So they, so they, they give them, them to the police. police. I see. And they don't want to sell them to some countries where they can overthrow governments and get hold of that weapon. So they say, we're not going to throw it away because it costs a lot of money. So they gave them to police departments to use. But the police, it, it now depends on the police if they want to use it for required reason or misuse it. If they're gonna use it to harass people who are just demonstrating for their right, that's no good. That's but but do you but do you not think that's happening though? Do you not, do you not think sometimes the police are abusing their authority? Yes. Just, yeah. Yes. Police. Uh, police is not hundred percent correct. Neither is hundred percent good in some cases. So will you sign my petition? Hmm? Will you sign my petition? I can't hear you. Will you sign my petition? Well, what is the petition about? The petition is basically saying that people should be read their Miranda rights. Mm -hmm. And that uh, uh, internet research should not be... Now I can Why? Because it's against the police and I still have a case with the police department about my mail. So, what? How is that layoff going for you? Huh? What, what? What did you do about it? The, the, the my union took the police into court, so we are still going back and forth in the court. So I cannot uh, find anything against them on the instruction of my lawyer or anything. Okay. So, okay, because I'm in a litigation against them okay. and I don't know how long it's going to take and it, my lawyer already said so what was it, the reason for my, your dismissal my my, my uh, lawyer already said even if they win the case he's still going to file an appeal and that appeal might take another one two years so hey. <laughs> We were about 17, then three managers. So what do you think though? Mm -hmm. What do you think though of, uh, so what was the reason of your layoff? Uh, the reason they did is like, they don't have uh, enough budget for that many employees in that IT department. Mm -hmm. Because they can give the computer my name is Michael Michael yes my name is Sam my son's name is Michael also where are you from I hear an accent I am from Nigeria okay okay 
this bathroom, and then I go to my class. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.